Where you live should not determine how long you live. The difference between babies born up in the Carmel area versus Southern Indy is about 14 years. And that, in life expectancy terms, is just huge. It's very sobering, the difference in those statistics. We have to be willing to talk about these things and understand what really is behind health, what makes a community healthy. Diabetes can drive down your whole life expectancy, and that's a measure of how healthy your area is. I know that diabetes has our community by the neck right now. In order for me to be successful, in order for my children to have a future, I have to do something, and I just can't sit and wait for somebody else to do it. For the organizers of this project, they have engaged the community from the first moment. They went in and just said, we want to listen. What is it that you need? We need healthier uh, food opportunities and access, um, not just where we can drive to or go to and, and miles or two away, but really accessible right there where we're at, we're making sure that they're getting high quality education, high quality health care, high quality food, um, not just because it, in some areas we have low income, but because we deserve it as residents and as humans. What's great about this project is that it connects the dots between community development which works on the social determinants of health, in other words, housing, education, public safety, through the healthcare industry, more specifically the health of individuals. This project will solidify community health workers as part of the medical team so that we're not just these four walls, but that we're really seen in the community as an asset and that we're contributing to their team. I think it's phenomenal because one, you're able to reach those working families that have worked 10 to 12 hours and cannot make it to the clinic. You know, and I think that's what a community worker is, is supposed to be. You know, they are in their community, they are working for the people in their community, and they know their community. I'm hoping that we see a downward spiral in the instances of type 2 diabetes, and that we know that people are getting educated on how to eat, what to eat, when to eat, where to eat. If we could get the medical professionals to think about why building a new sidewalk has any impact on their patients with diabetes, then we're making progress. That's my ultimate dream is that we have managed to think about all along the way sustainability. And so with the passion and the love that I have, hopefully every hour that I spend, every minute that I spend is gonna make a better future for my kids.